Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone, and this is an updated version of the previous 1.3. So this is tier list version 1.3.1 with the addition of Marion Riptide. So as you can see here, again, tier zero, no change, and even the tiers below doesn't have a change except for tier 0 0.5, where we are placing Marion. So, with um, just wanna, you know, just wanna go over why she's placed at z 0 0.5. Um, again, you you guys might you know might say that um, Enya and her are are you know are equals, um, but no, um, they are just there because they have their own strengths. Let me go over something with you guys here. So. Clearly, for both Mari and Riptide and Enya, you cannot compare both of them because you are comparing literally an orange to an apple. They are not the same, okay? That is why you cannot compare them directly. They have their strengths and they are played differently. That is why they're here in tier 0 0.5. Both have their kinks and their weakness. Um, Enya, um, basically for me, the only reason why she's not in tier 0 is because of the limitation of the Zephyr. It has an area in which you need to transfer it. So again, you have to transfer it multiple times if you want to follow a specific operative. So I think that is her crutch. If they did put that area, a limited area... I would say she is going to be tier 0. She's going to be above Marion Riptide. Uh, Marion, on the other hand, is actually played differently. So she also is a skill DPS damage, but she's not the best. But she has a new uh, mechanic wherein she functions as a, as a secondary DPS where she deals a ton of damage. Again... I'm not going to I'm not going to go into the specifics of their buffs with this tier list. Um, I'm just going to be going through an overview of what they do, how they're going to be compared and weaknesses and all of the other things that they bring to the game. So, again with Marion Riptide, she does a little bit of a skill DPS damage support plus she is also a secondary DPS with a ton of damage both of them have their merits both of them have their demerits so again they are here at 0 0.5 i'm not comparing both of them because you cannot compare both of them period okay so and uh moving towards my other point not all operatives work best with you know best with both of them um the best you know for me i think with enya she works well with cherno because Cherno can doesn't need, really need to move um, frequently, and she can stay, you know, she can stay in 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 a place wherein she can roam around that zone, that Zephyr zone. For Marian, um, you can basically um, pair her with Katya Dawnwing. Again, there are a lot, not a lot. There there isn't a lot. Of operatives that you can spam DPS, uh, there are only a handful which really can be a you know be in a optimized position when you talk about pairing with Marion Riptide. So the optimal one is actually Katya Dawning. You can pair her with Haru Abscondito. She could, you could pair her with um, with Vidya Agave, but basically that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm actually pointing those three out because those are optimal pairings for me in terms of spamming of the skill. But when you talk about, you know, using Marion with the other, you know, with Cherno, um, she can be used with Cherno. But again, the um, skill rotation is not going to be optimal. So it's she's going to give her the buffs, but definitely not an optimal choice. For Cherno, it's definitely going to be Enya for Cherno. So those are my points. Um, both of them really give a high damage potential output, Marian and Enya. Um, and also, 
my last tip for you guys if you are in you know if you are in a position wherein you have to decide which of which is you know you're gonna be using choose what is best for you choose what you think works for your play style for your operatives choose what um, what you think is best for you what what makes you happy it's 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 not you know we cannot force on everybody to use Enya because Enya is the best or we cannot f force everybody to use Marion because Marion is the best but again both of them have merits it's really about you guys on how you're going to be choosing who to use at some point okay just highlighted here for Marion Riptide she does have um, you know um, damage ratings here single target five multi-part and mobbing three mobbing the her ultimate skill really helps her a lot so again that's why she is here at tier 0 0.5 and uh, she has very good skill dps damage support as well so again guys um th this is not a contest on comparing both so both have their merits it's really up to the player on which of these girls are the best for them best suited for them best suited for their team so that is more or less what i have to say about the both of them again guys um i might put out more details uh on both of them soon i'm just uh, ref uh reviewing some of the data that i have again and probably give you more information so that you could best decide which of these two are best suited for you or for the operatives that you have right now so again thank you guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden for reference i'm going to be putting this in the description of this video so you can take a second look at it there take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here